Now, I've said it before and I will say it again. Entrepreneurs are made, they are not born. And there's different growth phases you have to go through as an entrepreneur in order to be successful. Now, the great thing is that SuccessFact has coaching programs for every phase that you find yourself in. So let me show you what the different phases are and then you tell me what phase you find yourself in and how I can help you. So in phase zero, you're not an entrepreneur yet. You're still in a job, but there's no meaning to it, right? There's no fulfillment with what you're doing. You're grinding it out and you're not satisfied. You're burned out, but you're wondering, is there something more out there for you? And the answer is yes, there is. And I have a specific coaching package on burnout for this very reason to get you out of phase zero and into phase one of entrepreneurship. Now in phase one, you're not an entrepreneur yet. All you have is an idea, but you don't know yet if that idea even has legs. You don't know if that idea can help you succeed as an entrepreneur. This is a tough stage because you're still burned out from your job, but there's an opportunity, right? There is light at the end of the tunnel. You see an opportunity for you to maybe become an entrepreneur and charter your own course. In phase two, you're starting some research. Do you need an LLC? Do you need a bank account? How do I pay taxes, right? All those little details that you probably never thought of. And guess what? SuccessFag is here to help you with that phase as well, because this is the final stage you have to go through to make sure you have what it takes to succeed as an entrepreneur. This is the last little step before you can truly call yourself an entrepreneur. Phase three, now you really are an entrepreneur. You have an idea and you even have a business. You created your LLC, you have your bank accounts, maybe you hired a CPA. All those little things that three months ago you thought were insurmountable, well, you've conquered them and now you are up and running. Maybe your business is bringing in some money. You have some customers or clients and you are now an amateur entrepreneur. Phase four is you're taking your idea, you've got your business up and running, but now you're looking to grow and scale and get bigger, right? You wanna bring more money into your business. You wanna provide more value to your clients and customers. But this is a hard stage as well. If you're not doing it right, the competition will eat you like a snack. This is a hard part to be an entrepreneur because growing and scaling don't just take time and effort. They take mental work. This is a hard part, but success fag is here, right? As a coach, I help entrepreneurs in this stage to make sure that they can grow and they can scale and they don't see any limits imposed to them by their competition, by the market, and more importantly, by themselves. And finally, phase five, the one we all want to get to, right? This is where you can now start to implement systems into your business to work less on your business and in your business as well. You're not trying to not just create this one business, this one idea that, that got you started, but you have other ideas and you're trying to scale your footprint into other businesses, right? You're trying to repeat this formula for success that you have created with this current business in other businesses, because this is really where the excitement comes in as an entrepreneur, when you not just build one business, but you build multiple businesses. And again, coaching is so key at this stage to make sure you are set up for success, that you have the right mindset, that you are not limiting yourself for success. Let me know what phase you're in and how I can best help you succeed as an entrepreneur.